Flavor family, what is up? It is Bobby and Rose coming at you in the kitchen for a video all about how to boost your immune system anytime, but especially now, right? We have the uh, COVID virus going around. And if you have a strong immune system, you can not only protect yourself from COVID or Corona or really any virus, any infection, because a strong immune system, healthy gut is the backbone to your health. That's why, was it Rose, back in the spring, Uncle Farturo and I made the video from the grocery store talking about the top 10 immune system boosting foods. So you can basically think of this video as part two. So when this video is done, go check that out because I have another 10 here. And a lot of these are new ideas and I would recommend uh, acting on these immediately. Um, Rose is gonna chow down on her sweet potato cooked with virgin coconut oil and uh, steeped or cooked in uh, bone broth uh, while we're doing a video. You guys wanna make sure you like, subscribe, share, but hit the bell icon right below the video, or, right? You like the bell icon because you're gonna get a push notification as soon as we go live. We have so much content coming live, you don't wanna miss out. All right, let's start first at vitamin A rich foods. So vitamin A rich foods are your number one protection against viruses. They really are and they're so darn good for you. I'm gonna focus on our two favorite that we take all the time. That would be fermented cod liver oil and sticking in the liver family, pasture raised chicken liver. So check this bottle out here. Right. When you're getting cod liver, quality really matters. I think of the same way canola oil is processed versus coconut oil is virgin. This brand of cod liver is 100% fermented and cold pressed. There's no high heat extraction. You wanna make sure you get unflavored. And if you look on the nutritional information here, I believe it says it's um, with vitamin A and with vitamin D. Very, very important. Now, they do have some of these at the store that are flavored, and we talked about this back in the hall in the fall, do not get the flavored ones because they have uh, natural flavings, another word for artificial flavors. We don't want that. You want high quality fermented cod liver oil. You can take it once a day. Tastes kind of fishy, but doesn't really that big of a deal. Rose takes a little bit too. I think after, is it six months, babe? Bab babies can have yep. cod liver. A little bit goes a long way. And if you're nursing, then mommy should take it. The baby shouldn't take it. Amazon link to the best one I know on the market is down below. I would take that as ASAP. Now these are chicken livers, but punch in. These are actually from a locally sourced farm and they're pasture raised. If you're gonna eat chicken livers, you have to at least get organic. Better yet, get pasture raised. How do you find pasture raised? Well. Uh, over my research the last year or so, I've come across a couple of really good resources online. I believe one is called eatwild.org and the other one I'll put down there. It will tell you no matter where you live, local farmers markets, co-ops and farms, you can go to visit to buy pasture raised eggs, raw milk and pasture raised chicken livers. I like the pasture raised chicken livers because they're free to forage and they have a supplemental feed of non-GMO grain. When you cook them, make sure you cook them till they're blushing pink in the middle. And we've been giving this to Rose since Rose was six months old, right, Ben? Yep. You just pan sear them over low heat and a little bit of ghee until they're blushing pink. Then we blend it up with bone broth and some ghee, some grass-fed ghee. Amazing for the baby's growth, immune system, and great for us too. So these two are my top two vitamin A rich foods for your immune system. Okay. <clears throat> What next on my list here? Let's go to vitamin D rich foods. Vitamin D pairs great with vitamin A for a super immune system boosting food. And we're gonna go with cod liver oil again, but pasture raised egg yolks. We're gonna go with butter from grass fed cows, fish eggs or salmon and lard, pasture raised lard. So these are vitamin D rich foods that are really good for your immune system and to protect you from viruses. Key is knowing what kind of product to get versus what kind not to. Don't get any kind of eggs. How many times have we talked in this channel about pasture raised eggs? And once you go down the pasture raised uh, road, get pasture raised organic because all chickens that are pasture raised have a supplemental feed of grain. And unless we need some more uh, here. Here's some more sweet potato. And unless those chickens are organic, the supplemental grain, unfortunately, is going to be GMO corn and soy. So it's very important. Now, I was at the grocery store this past weekend and they were sold out of every egg on the market. Got me to think and I talked to my friend, the egg guy, Paul, and he said that there's farms in Chicagoland and far away that do home delivery once or twice a week. 
I'll put the link down below. One of them is called Mint Creek Farms. They not only have pasture raised, they don't use any soy in the feed. Some farmers, very good farmers, believe that chickens should not have soy. It's not good for them, and the nutritional profile of soy is not good either. Well, I just placed an order, and they're going to deliver four dozen pasture-raised eggs. And I think I'm just gonna do that going forward because that's local. These come from as far away as Texas sometimes. And if you have access to local, I would do that. So pasture-raised organic the best, local even better. Grass-fed butter. At the minimum, organic butter, because organic means they don't eat uh, the cows, they don't eat any GMO grain. Grass-fed means they're pretty much only eating grass. But this Kerrygold butter abides by Irish dairy law, meaning, Rose, that 80% of the time, they eat grass, but during inclement weather in the winter, they do eat grain. I've yet to find out if it's GMO grain. Either way, this is still a superior butter in terms of flavor, color, and nutritional profile than any grain-fed, GMO-fed cow. And this is the kind of saturated fat, vitamin D-rich food that your body needs, right? Then, lard. But look here, we're not talking about like the really bargain basement tub of lard. It's pasture-raised pork lard from Epic. They make a bunch of different saturated fats I'm going to show in a minute. But once again, pasture-raised means just like the chickens, they're free to forage and they only get a supplemental feed of non-GMO grain. This is the kind of stuff that my grandma, your great-grandma, stuff like that would have used. Nowadays, the lard in the grocery store in that big tub, that's factory farmed pork lard. And if you read the ingredients, they cure it or they clean it with uh, chemicals, that is nothing compared to this. This is really good. You can find it at a lot of grocery stores now, or I'll put the Amazon link down below. And then uh, fish eggs. These are salmon fish eggs, way cheaper than like black caviar and uh, Ocetra. This is like a $10 jar. You can get them for cheaper most places. And because they have that really yummy fat your body needs, we give them to Rose, right babe? Yeah. And once you're eight months, we put this in her like cauliflower puree that's cooked in bone broth with a little bit of coconut oil. And then we blend it and all that yummy fat goes in there and she eats it. Or um, you can get a uh, wild salmon that's going to have a lot of that uh, omega-3 fatty acids. But either way, these are vitamin D essentials to boost your immune system. All right, next on the list, let's do saturated fats. We've actually talked about saturated fat a lot on this channel, but coronavirus has an affinity towards the lungs and saturated fats will protect your lungs and help them from getting infected with the virus. By the way, a lot of the information we got for this video also came from the Weston Price Foundation. Desi follows them on Instagram and they have a ton of info. So thank you guys for providing a lot of the info for this video too and being a great resource. So we think of the healthiest saturated fats on the market. I think of grass-fed organic ghee. You guys know I love the Thrive Market one. We think of the big tub of Costco virgin coconut oil. And look at this. We showed you the other fats earlier from Epic. They also have beef, chicken, and duck fat. All of these are stuff your grandmama used to use. And they're very important for boosting your immune system. They're very important for um, healthy saturated fats your body needs. Your brain is mostly saturated fat. And my mother passed away five years ago from multiple sclerosis, which affects the nerve coverings called the myelin sheaths. Your um, body and your myelin sheaths need good saturated fat. This is what you need. Now, Desi and I watched a documentary on Amazon a while back. I'll try to put the name down below. I can't remember. But somewhere in the 20s, we shifted from saturated fats like this that our grandma used to use to industrial refined uh, plant-based oils like canola, soy, safflower, sunflower, uh, corn, and those stuff. And the reason why is for money, right? What does Mr. Wonderful say on Shark Tank? Money. Uh, it was a big shift to plant-based oils and they demonized uh, saturated fats. That's where, in our opinion, the poo-poo started hitting the fan because then heart diseases and myocardial infections started going off the charts or heart attacks. So stick with healthy saturated fats. If it was good enough for grandma, it's good enough for you. It's good for your immune system and it's good for your lungs, which coronavirus and viruses like to attack. Rosie, my dear. Do we need some more uh, sweet tater? Here, my love. There you go. Oh, and then speaking about saturated fats. So it's interesting. Uh, coronavirus is a virus that will die in the presence of MCTs because it's a lipid coated virus. So not only is this good, but MCT oil powder is good and coconut milk is good. Uh, full fat coconut milk. Why? 
all of these are MCT rich. A lot of people think you have to buy MCT oil or MCT powder. Not the case. All coconuts are rich in MCTs. So if you have the virgin coconut oil, not the refined, the virgin, or full fat coconut milk, they're all loaded in MCTs or medium chain triglycerides, which are, like I said, really important at killing the coronavirus because it's a lipid coated virus. So all these are great. Um, MCT oil powder is my favorite because if you put the oil in a smoothie, it tends to float to the top, whereas the powder emulsifies with the smoothie. I'll put a link down below for my favorite one. So, so good also for brain boosting abilities and for energy. Awesome stuff. Rose. We can't talk about immune boosting foods without talking about bone broth, which I think if you're a longtime viewer of the channel, you've heard me talk about it so many times, but especially now bone broth is really good because it boosts your immune system. We normally have homemade, but we've been going through it like nobody's business between us and between Rose, she goes through a lot of it too, that I have a backup supply. Now, why is bone broth so good? Because number one, it's high in gelatin and collagen, but it also is high in chondroitin. And chondroitin is really good for immune system. Plus there's other benefits too, right? Rose Honey is loaded with collagen in those cheeks and her skin. Daddy's 42 years old, he's getting older. So this has a lot of collagen and gelatin that's good for the supplemental stuff that I'm losing. Also great for your hair, skin, teeth, nails, gut, and your joints. Very, very important stuff. My recipe for homemade bone broth is done in the pressure cooker or the Instant Pot. I'll put that link down below. It's crazy easy. The key is to use grass-fed bones, just like this one uses here from the store. Um, a Flav City fan started a amazing grass-fed meat company out of California, and she gave me a promo code, so I'll put that link down below. We get all of our bones from her. But if you wanna go to the store and they have it, get a brand like this. Get Kettle and Fire, get Epic, just like the ones who make the fat, uh, even the Whole Foods brand is really good because this is made from grass-fed bones or grass or uh, organic chicken bones and chicken feet and chicken backs, which are loaded with uh, gelatin and um, the collagen. Really, really important stuff we always have in the house, right? But once again, that recipe is down below. Crank it. I wish we had an extra room just with like a huge pot to make bone broth all the time. Um, it would make the house smell like a barn, but it'd be absolutely amazing. How many times on this channel, Rose, have we talked about fermented foods like fermented cabbage. This is such an important staple for a healthy immune system. Also, a vitamin C packed food. I would not be grabbing a jar of vitamin C because that's a synthetic <laughs> vitamin. Exactly, thank you. It's a synthetic vitamin that pales to real, pure vitamin C coming from something like fermented sauerkraut. I actually picked this up at Costco this weekend. I don't think people are stockpiling this because this is half the price and I've talked about it many times. What does uh, fermented mean? It means look at the ingredients. There's no vinegar. Vinegar is not a bad ingredient, but without the vinegar, a natural fermentation forms in here. And fermented veggies have 10 times, Rose, 10 times the amount of vitamin C than fresh cabbage, right? So I would go with this. I'd go with fermented pickles. The ones from Bubby's are fantastic, but there's a couple other brands that make it too. You cannot cook this. If you cook this, you kill the probiotics that are living, just like think of yogurt. Just dress it with a little bit of salad dressing, like one of the Bobby approved Primal Kitchen ones and you're good to go. Or put it on a sandwich with turkey and uh, fixins. It's really, really tasty, but I swear by fermented foods and the vitamin C, punch is fantastic. All right, next up is something I don't have because I haven't been to the farm lately is raw milk, right? Raw milk is gonna have compounds that strengthen your immune system and it's not gonna be the same as milk from the grocery store. And even though I say in the grocery store, grass-fed organic milk is the best, if you can go to a local farm, like I go to all grass farms in Dundee, Illinois sometimes, they have raw milk. They have pasture-raised pork, pasture-raised chicken, grass-fed beef, and they have uh, pasture-raised eggs, all produced there. So uh, once again, you can find these farms down below in the description box with my uh, eatwild.org uh, location finder. But raw milk not only tastes amazing, I had it for the first time this summer when we visited that farm tastes amazing, it's creamy, it's completely unpasteurized and safe and loaded with stuff that is actually really good for you um, that goes away during the pasteurization process. Normally for the milks at the store, this one's raw so it still has all of it. I can't do a video like this without talking about 
fresh ginger and fresh turmeric available at a lot of Asian markets, but to be honest, Whole Foods always has this. And I make my immune system boosting tea. It's one of the most popular recipes on my website during the winter. Um, and the reason why it's so good for you and to protect you from getting sick from viruses or infections is because ginger is not only an immune system booster, it soothes your tummy, but turmeric. Turmeric really is the real deal. It's not some hipster ingredient they just make lattes out of at the coffee shop. It's an anti-inflammatory. Um, it's an anti-carcinogen. And in its fresh form, <clears throat> it is a nutritional powerhouse. So the tea recipe just has fresh ginger, fresh turmeric, water, lemon peel, black pepper, uh, you s barely simmer that for about seven minutes. You stir in some virgin coconut oil or ghee or avocado oil, a little bit of raw honey, and it's really good at keeping you strong, boosting your immune system, and if you have a little bug, uh, it'll wipe it out of your body. If you're pregnant, have it no more than four times per month. High doses of turmeric can be bad for pregnancy. My tea is not a high dose. And for babies, Desi, after how old can I have my tea? Nine months? After 18 months, they can have the tea. And I've been seeing people do that on Instagram, which is really, really cool. So a must. If you only have dried ginger and dried turmeric, use a two teaspoon of each, but fresh is really the way to the go. All right, last but not least is a vampire's least friend. No, not least friend. All right, last but not least is fresh garlic, right? A vampire's worst friend and something Desi and I have been eating raw. Oh, what I say, worst friend? <laughs> Jeez. We'll leave it. That's right. Yes, thank worst you. Enemy. Worst enemy. Thank you. Worst friend is the worst English in the history of YouTube. Um, this is great stuff because, first of all, it's an antimicrobial, antifungal, anti uh, uh, disinfectant, antibacteria. It will wipe out any kind of bacteria that's growing in your mouth, on your tongue, in your throat. I literally had a sore on my tongue that was really red and inflamed, and I ate three cloves of garlic over the course of like 24 hours, and it was gone. Uh, this stuff is really good at killing cold and flu bugs, which really want to stay with you, but this, eating about three cloves, four cloves a day, will wipe it out for sure. It's going to make your breath smell horrible. It might even make you very gassy like it did for me, but it was absolutely essential in getting rid of that. So um, that's about it. So I think... Oh, babies can have it after eight months. Yes, he actually just kind of like took a little bit of raw garlic and put the essence of it on some salmon burgers that uh, Rose just had. So, um, and then number 10 would be just go watch my uh, immune boosting video from the grocery store back in the fall when it was safe to go to the grocery store. But these are real immune system boosting foods that will keep you healthy and strong from viruses, infections. And if you are sick from anything, Eat these kind of foods. Stay away from inflammatory foods like sugar, like uh, excess starches, too many grains, especially simple grains, and uh, processed oils like canola, soy. That's super, super important, and it really is a recipe for a healthy immune system. So you guys, any other videos you want to, uh, to see made, let us know. We're cranking here. Hopefully Art and I can get back to the grocery store soon without, uh, number one, uh, getting run over by other people and number two is stuff actually in the store but make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon because you don't want to miss the content coming line every single week uh, we're going to do more live streams because more people are going to be home uh, cooking and hanging out with us but rose desi art and myself we'll see you very soon we got two more videos going below so right now until then hashtag keep on cooking mad love and peace Mwah. you're such a good girl ah uncle art's got you uncle art's got you Ang, 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 ang. <laughs>